Welcome everyone, just a great song by ZZ Top, a nice 12 bar blues, although they vary it a little bit here and there and we'll talk about that, but um, it's all in B minor standard tuning. I'm using my Strat front pickup through my Fender uh, Tweed Bandmaster clone. So um, we'll go all through the different parts including the solo. There's overdub guitar in some of the actual rhythm, so I've noted that in my notes, which are downloadable. Just click on the link below the video and you can download my tab, but I've noted where the actual licks go over the actual chords, so you have to pick one or the other to play. But uh, great licks, of course, the Reverend Billy G, so we'll get into it. All right, the song starts out, basically, you could say, on the five. And and to get to the five, because we're in B, this will be the four, would be um, E, and then F sharp would be the five chord in the progression. And um, so what he does is hit the fifth string from seven to eight and then nine, and that's on the fifth string. Then he'll catch the first string at nine also. Alright, then the rhythm of the intro starts, if you will. We're going to hit the third fret of the sixth string, go to the open fifth string, and then play a B minor. Watching Billy play this live, he plays a B minor 7th, which is fine. It's a great substitution. Um, the same when we get up to an E in the, in the change, um, the recording sounds like he's playing a B minor and then eventually the E minor. But um, again, live, Billy plays a B minor 7th, so he keeps that pinky off. <laughs> It's just a great blues substitution, and you know, that's how you feel like playing it. So the first lick we'll hear is very smooth. I mean, Billy does this. It's a slide on the fourth string from seven to nine, and then we're going to hit seven back on the fourth string. Then we'll hit the fifth string at nine, slide to seven, striking five to seven. <laughs> up to the 6th string and does a twill from the 5th to the 7th fret. And it's, it really sounds to me like he just hits the 5th fret and then hammers on with the twill. Alright, so that lick, 1, 2, 3, 4. Then we go back into, we'll call this the G uh, chord lick. All right, and a lot of this is played with a lot of feeling, so some of it Billy really quiets down when he hits the notes. So you have to listen closely. Um, the next run of licks will be back here again at this B minor position, basically at the 7th and 9th fret. And what we're going to do is start out on the 4th string. <laughs> So we're hitting the fourth string at nine, and then we come right to the third string at nine with a bend, and then strike seven on the third back to nine. It's not a bend, release, and pull up. It's a bend, and then strike. Then we lay our finger and catch the fourth nine again. Come back to seven on the third, back to nine on the fourth. So we have this so far. Then we're going to lay back and forth between the nines again from the third to the fourth string. And end on the seventh uh, fret of the third string to the ninth fret of the fourth. Just a great blues really played. You could tell there's a lot of feeling in this. Um, so again, from the top hole lick, one, two, three, four. Then we do our G 
chord lick. And then you'll hear this. He's going to hit the 10th fret of the 2nd string and quickly strike 9th fret of the 3rd string. And give it a little bend of vibrato. Alright, then we're into the verse. So it starts right in the verse. The way I want to go through the verse is I'm going to go through the 12 bar structure and then we'll move through the verse with the licks because again sometimes the licks go over the chords so we'll speak to that mm -hmm. as we learn it. So going through the structure of the song, verse 1 as I will tell you and show you is actually 10 bars and then he goes into the solo rhythm which is the full 12 bars. So I'm going to show you, this is basically the solo rhythm, alright? All 12 bars, but you'll understand how it all fits together. So we're going to start with that G lick. Okay, a little sped up there, but there's four of those. And then we're going to change it up a little bit. All right, we're going to go to an E. This would be the four chord. All right, we've played our B minor. Now we're moving to the four chord. At e. All right, so Billy does, this is just fantastic. I've never, this is great to learn. He plays the second fret of the sixth string, slides off to the first, and then off to open. Then comes up and plays that E minor. Um, at the seventh fret. We do that again. Then we're going to do a couple more of the G licks. All right, so now we're to the turnaround. The turnaround is going back to the four, and the way he does it this time is he's going to arpeggiate it, but it's played very slowly. Again, just, just follow the rhythm of the song, and it'll sound like this. All right, so we're arpeggiating that um, F sharp. That's the five, I'm sorry, not the four. turn it around with a B, but again, it's more of a lick than actually a chord or anything. So we're going to play two on the fifth string, up to four, and back to two. And then we end with two of the G licks. So, what I'm going to do is, um, oh yeah, let's just do the whole solo rhythm. One, two, three, four. structure of the 12 bars of this song. So for verse 1, we're going to do three sets of the G chord riff. On the third one, you'll hear this. It's basically just nine with a little bended vibrato. All right. The next lick's pretty quick. It comes in right as our B minor comes in. Alright, and the lick will be this. Alright, 
right, so it's a little combination of everything we've done so far. We're going to hit the second string at 10 to start out with, go to the third string at 9, bent, and then 9 unbent, 7 to 9. Then he slides in 7 to 9, back to 7, then 9 twice, then 7 hammered into 9 twice. On nine on the fourth string and then he does the slide off like we did in the first like down to seven from nine on the fourth string and then nine to seven slid down catching five on the fifth string landing on seven all right and then we do uh, seven on the sixth string then we do the little chord change to E come towards a turnaround and the first riff after we we're going to do the G riff come back for a 9 on the third string then the next riff starts over the next G riff okay so this riff starts just as we come into it So what we're doing is we're bending up 10 on the 2nd string and then hitting it unbent. And we'll do the same thing on the 3rd string at 9. Then we go 7 to 9. 7 slid up to 9 back hitting 7. And then 2 hammers, hammer ons from 7 to 9 on the 3rd string. 1 on the 4th string. Then we do the turnaround, and we're not going to, well, we will go into the G lick again, but that's when the solo starts. So, in verse 1, we're skipping two of the, la uh, the last two bars, let's just say. So, we come into our turnaround. Then we start the solo rhythm, and then the solo will come in. Okay, so, you know, again, the structure is a little different. That's why I wrote this out. I write them out anyhow, but um, I noted right there when the solo starts, and we'll go through that rhythm. Now, verse 2 is a full uh, 12 bars. So, verse 2, all right, um, we've got some licks again that come in over the chords. We'll note that, but the first three of the G licks will be normal. After the third, we'll do an actual lick. Alright, so this lick, we're going to start on the fourth string at nine, coming to seven, and then nine on the third string. Roll up to nine again on the fourth string, back to seven on the third. Landing on nine on the fourth twice with some vibrato. So all together slowly. One, two, three, four. Okay. And the next lick comes in right at the beginning of the B chord. Alright, you'll hear this. going 3rd string 7 to 4th string 9, 4 times. Then he's going to do our little E, we're doing it changing the chord. Alright, as soon as he starts that, you'll hear this riff. Again, it starts right at the beginning. Alright, so the riff is bending up the 10th fret of the second string and then hitting seven coming nine to seven on the third and landing with nine twice on the fourth string remember these are done with a lot of feeling so like when I met Stevie Ray he, he told me always play it with feeling 
So there you have it. So, all right, now we're to the second elec. And then we end with this. It's a nine on the third string, bend up, release, pull off to seven, vibrato. Then we're going to go into our uh, G lick two more times. The first time through you'll hear this. It's a kind of a short, but it's 10 on the second string. Then they come in again. Now the turnaround. extensive lick here that starts when we're doing the last two of the 12 bar G chord licks, okay? And I've noted that, so the lick that enters will go over that and that leads us to the outro. Now the outro rhythm, again they change it up. All they're doing is the G lick. a total of let's see two and a half bars it starts fading out after one and a half so each bar contains six times through so again I've noted that so if you do follow this through um, and I've out I've written out the outro licks too you can just jam along with the outro licks or the rhythm so the longer lick at the end of verse 2, I'm going to break this up in sections, but the first section will sound like this. Alright, we're playing the second string, 12, down to 12 on the first string with a bend, and then without a bend. Coming to 10 on the first string, back to 12 on the second. And then repeat that by holding 12 with the vibrato. So all together, one, two, three, four. All right, the next section will come in basically when they're starting the next chord. All right, so what we're doing there is we're going to hit the 10th fret 2nd string, come to 7, and then 10 bent, and then 10 unbent on that 1st string. Coming to 7 on the 1st string, back to 10 on the 2nd. Then we come to the 3rd string at 9, hit that, then bend it, then hit it unbent, and then 7, 9. Catch 9 on the 4th string, come back 7 to 7th fret of the 3rd string, landing 9 twice on the 4. Then we're going to go 7, I'm sorry, 9 on 4 again to 7. Then come back to 9 on 4 with a pull off. Then land, uh, that's 9 to 7 pull off. Then we're going to land on 9 with a bend release and pull off to 7, landing on the 4th string of 9. And then end this with 7 on the 3rd string to 9 with bent and vibrato. So a lot of notes there. Again, this is where my notes will help you. But we'll take this really slowly. 1, 2, 3, 4. the outro rhythm. Okay for the solo these kind of happen as little sections of riffs if you will that follow the rhythm but the first one you'll hear a sound like this. So what we're doing is a pre-bend on the third string so bend that up and kind of strike the sixth 
through the fourth muted and then catch that third string bent and then release it and pull off to seven. And then we're going to come back and hit nine on the third string to nine on the uh, fourth, back to seven on the third and end with two nines on the fourth. Um, let me do that all together. One, two, three, four. Alright, the next set of licks you'll hear will sound like this. Alright, so what he's doing is starting out on the 9th fret 4th string, 7 to 9 on the 3rd, and then catching 9 on the 2nd, I'm sorry, 7 on the 2nd to 7 on the 1st string. 10, back to 7 on the 1st, and then 7 on the 2nd. 9, bent and release. Then we hit 7 on the 3rd string, back to 9 twice on the 3rd string. Rolled up to catch the 4th fret of the 9th string. 4th string, ninth fret, and then 7 on the 2nd and 3rd, and landing on 9 on the 4th string twice. So, a lot of notes again, but we'll do this slowly. 1, 2, 3, 4. out this measure we're just going to slide in second string at 12 and give that a little vibrato all right so we're to the next measure of the solo and we'll hear this Starting out on the first string, seven, second string, ten, seven, ten. Coming to the third string, ninth fret with a bend release, pull off to seven, and then come back to nine on the third string to nine on the fourth. Then we kind of take off seven to nine on the third string, then we'll hit nine again with a bend release and pull off to nine on the fourth. Lay your finger down, catch the third string at nine, and then come back up with seven on the second to seven on the third. And then end with two hits on nine on the fourth. So, all together slowly. One, two, three, four. Next lick you'll hear will be this. Alright, simple 7 9 fourth string to 7 on the 3rd and then a 9 bend release and pull off to 7. Alright, continue with the next measure. Okay you guys, I'm sorry, I'm not going to do the outro solo. Uh, like I said, I've written it out, my notes are below, just click on that, download them you'll have all the licks. They're very similar in the B minor um, basic pentatonic scale. Uh, I'm sorry, I just, it's another seven measures and I'm not feeling up to it today. So my apologies, but I hope you enjoyed the rest of the lesson.